Welcome to Cat's Hill. Uh, I'm Ben. Yep, and I'm Will, and we're uh, we made the uh, the arduous trip up to NorCal. Yeah, a three and a half hour commute up north is uh, that's a <laughs> tough one for us. Th this was definitely an away game. <laughs> Man, this was. Uh, I mean, th this was a race that we were looking forward to. Uh, Cat's Hill is a pretty. It's one of the monuments, the NorCal monuments. <laughs> all of NorCal races kind of feel like classics races, right? Yeah, at least, yeah, right. They've always been around for so long. But, um, man, Cat's Hill, uh, I think everybody knows what this course is like. You know, you got a super steep hill. And, uh, you know, going into this one, we knew it was going to be tricky because we were, so we're in the Cat 3 field, of course, but we were with, what, three or four other fields? Yeah, they they definitely put us through uh, the thresher today. Mm -hmm. um, so this is our first time up the hill. Uh, mm -hmm. You'll see this from my point of view. This is why if you want to start Cat's Hill, it's really important to start as far forward as possible mm -hmm. because you can't really carry momentum up here if you're in mm -hmm. a big pack. And uh, I'm already paying for that, so mm -hmm. my bad. Um, going back to the fields, <laughs> so how many fields did we combine? Man, Collegiate A, which all those guys are hitters. Um, Collegiate B, Cat 3, there was an open Cat 4 as well. There was Masters 35 plus 3-4. So it was like almost 60 people. And on a course like this, like you got to be really careful with that many people because this course is just so like attritional. And, generally, generally it is. And, yeah. and another new thing this year, mm -hmm. too, because I've been doing this for three years, and, and Will's been going up to Cats, this is his second time now, mm -hmm. is that it is in the rain. And Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we we figured, like, looking at the forecast, we were like, this could be really sketchy. And, and looking at it right now, it, it looks like it's sunny and it's nice, but it had been raining, the roads are already wet, and... It is, it's going to get substantially worse as we race more. Yeah, conditions worsen as we go through the mm -hmm. race. You're kind of following along in the first few laps from my point of view. Mm -hmm. So, like, my strategy going into this race was to ride towards the front mm -hmm. because it does get single file. It is very selective. And when it mm -hmm. rains, that usually doubles that. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is what happened in this race. So I'm fighting mm -hmm. to stay towards the front. But uh, mm -hmm. I made a really big mistake in this race. Well, actually, two. <laughs> um, what was your biggest struggle going through this? Oh, well, I, I don't do well in the rain and like with wet roads. I just I still don't have that trust in my bike handling. I, I just kept on imagining like a crazy crash happening, especially on the the really fast downhill. So I was just on the brakes way too much. And look at this as a part one of two. So we have Cat's Hill on this day, but this is the first day of a two-day Omnium. Mm -hmm. And so the second day is Santa Cruz. And uh, both of these races are going to be in the wet. Mm -hmm. And in both races, there are crashes. There's so much more carnage than there usually is. And so, I mean, that's warranted. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, well, Cat's Hill ended up being fine, mainly because of how attritional this race is. Like, there was a... There ends up being, you know, Ben Ben's up toward the front here, but you'll see, like, it becomes drop city for a lot of people, including us. <laughs> and um, I think that made it a little bit safer, the mm -hmm. fact that there are so many, like, smaller groups. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I, I think the reason, like, I mean, we've done quite a few Cat 3 races, and, man, this one felt different. And I, I really do think it was a lot of these, like, collegiate guys. You know, these are, like, Cat 1, Cat 2 guys. I mean... That Quinn Felton guy is, what, a U23 Pro guy? Mm -hmm. I mean, he's on Avello. Um, and you can see a lot of the people we're yeah. talking about. And look at this, look at this split. Group. Like, you're in the front, yeah. and we got a crazy split going here. Um, yeah, and, and so, like, it was a... I don't think the race ever let off because there was a constant breakaway trying to get established. Yeah. And the break did hold, but even toward the end, they didn't have that big of a gap. So, so it was just relentless, yeah, <laughs> like so the whole time. It, it's kind of a game here yeah. of keeping like slower people behind you and not allowing people to get in front of you for separations mm -hmm. to come up. So like I'm in good positioning right now, but mm -hmm. I put in a huge amount of work 
in the back half of this course where mm -hmm. if you're in the draft, it's minimal effort just to get to this point. Mm -hmm. So when we hit Cats Hill again, I'm going to be shuffled back. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was one of my big mistakes was I didn't commit to a full gas effort up Cats Hill every time. And because of that, I was, like, constantly fighting to reconnect with the fast guys who did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How, how did you feel going up the hill? Man, last year it felt way easier. <laughs> I don't know if it was the rain or if I just forgot how to ride my bike, but, like, I was doing, like, so much more power up it last year. Uh -huh. And then this year it was, like, man, I don't know. I think we just, I think we are just both slow. I <laughs> we came to the conclusion that we're just slow. <laughs> Dude, so NorCal guys do have crazy fitness. Yeah, like, let's yeah. just be real. Yeah, like, no, like they're sure. all climbers, yeah. and and yeah. it, it's a different deal. The the other thing to it too is that you can't really put down power up Cat's Hill this year with the rain. Mm -hmm. Like the best way to go up it would be seated, and then at least you're not slipping out your rear tire. But yeah. I I'm running like wider tires than I did the previous years mm -hmm. and I'm still like sliding out going up the hill out of the saddle but yeah, I, I can't a, make that power seated I had a few moments where I, I know but other people got it done so I don't know I uh, I feel like and I think just because of the conditions too we were hitting it a little bit slower mm -hmm. than previous years like that's um, true yeah. and maybe that just caused you know well, I mean, if you hit it, the slower you hit it, like, the harder it feels, so... Exactly, the more torque yeah. you have to put out and, mm -hmm. and, and whatnot just to get up it, mm -hmm. so, so so that's part of it. So, how, how are you feeling at this point, Ben? Because you're honestly, like, I know it's, it's hurting, but you are in decent position here, so... I'm I'm already feeling it, but mm -hmm. I, I'm... <sighs> I'm already a little overwhelmed by how hard this is. <laughs> right. <laughs> and and the big thing that I'm trying to develop is adaptability. Yeah. And to be able to change your strategy or mm -hmm. to try something new when you're already on the limit, it's like almost impossible to mm -hmm. do. And that's what killed this race mm -hmm. for me. I should have like committed mm -hmm. to staying behind someone that I trusted. Like Hector, for example, Hector finished with a lead group. Mm -hmm. He uh, he got second in our category. Mm -hmm. If I were to just hold his wheel, I know I can trust it. Mm -hmm. But in, instead, I was just like, well, I'm going to try to position up high, and then I won't mm -hmm. commit on the hill, and I should have tried committing on the hill while I could. Mm -hmm. uh, Honestly, I, I just don't think you had good legs this weekend. Because like, like that move going into this, like you, you went around the bunch, carry momentum. Like You're giving yourself room here to sag this climb a little bit. Not that you ever really want to sack Catsill, but like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it didn't take that much effort to get up, so like, I don't think you did anything wrong there. I, yeah. I, don't, I don't know, and also what works or what doesn't work yeah. for me might not be the same for you or for someone else watching mm -hmm. it, but I'm just saying that's something I, I wish I could have done mm -hmm. differently. As far as the legs, like, I'm really freaking sick right now, <laughs> and I don't know if that's because of this weekend. It probably is because I wasn't prepared. We should yeah. probably go into preparation, I, like, yeah, because we both did this like completely differently, and I'm sick and Will isn't. So, like, what was your play-by-play -play -play of that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, I, I don't know, and, and I guess I just brought a little bit more cold gear. We're from Bakersfield, so we're just like, oh, it's not a hundred degrees anywhere. Like, that's surprising. Well, we both looked yeah. at the forecast, yeah. and so so Will brought more cold weather gear to to. Yeah basically just live in mm -hmm. and i brought one jacket because we were staying in mm -hmm. hotels for once yeah. and i i think that's something that's not really talked about mm -hmm. but if you're going out into a different area where the weather is different like maybe over preparing <laughs> would have made yeah. a really big difference for me like for if sure. i if i had a long sleeve or a jacket or a warm mm -hmm. base layer here I, I might have had more because I was shivering before this race, mm -hmm. and I know I was cold during it. I couldn't even talk at the yeah. end of this race. <laughs> I was pretty broken. Um, so this was like 10 minutes into this race, and I was, if you saw how crazy that gap was, like, that was 10 minutes in. Yeah. So, like, Ben is in the, the kit up there, and I'm, I'm coming up on the back of this group, and I honestly thought, like, my race was done, like, 10 minutes in. When I saw these gaps forming, I was like, wow, I did this so badly. Uh -huh. And um, 
what we're not showing in that footage was just like how bad I was taking the corners. Like I was hitting the bricks so much. Like all the areas where you're supposed to recover on this course, like I was having to chase back on. And uh, like that's on me 100%. <laughs> at the same time, I just couldn't get in that mindset. Didn't have that dog in me today. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, like like the back half of this course, we were yeah. both thinking this could be the end of our season. Um, Dude, this it's fast, man. This is like yeah. the fastest we go pretty much the whole year. Like you yeah. don't really, you know, occasionally if you do a really fast sprint, you'll hit like 34, 35. But like on this course, you're going up to upper 30s pretty much every lap. And I and I eat on this downhill. <laughs> and, and and this and this right hander at the foot of the downhill yeah. is scary in the dry. Like you get mm -hmm. used to it, you trust the grip, and you go through. Yeah. But it is still counterintuitive. And mm -hmm. I know that there are people watching this that are like faster than us mm -hmm. or more skilled. But to like the average competitive <laughs> yeah. cyclist, like it, it's pretty scary. Yeah, yeah. No, this. Yeah, honestly, like even if you've been doing four corner crits for a while, so um, we're skipping ahead, and I think this is where. Uh, you know, Ben, I pass Ben here, and Sebastian's up there too, and I'm like, oh man, this is gonna be very hard. Like, if I see Ben struggling, that's like my litmus test of like, is this about halfway through the race, or are we farther? Yeah, this is down? like, yeah. I think this is about like 25 minutes into this race. It was uh -huh. like a 45 minute race. Yeah. And um, so, so just to mm -hmm. let you know, because I remember this moment. Mm -hmm. Seb passes me and tries to draft me up to the hill. I have nothing yeah. to even stay on this <laughs> wheel. And then Will passes me on this climb. And I, like, I I, I wasn't able to make words, but I said something <laughs> to the effect of, like, go on without me. <laughs> and, and this Dude. was the end of my race. Like, you're just going to see well, Will's race for Because Will yeah. has a great second half, but, like... I I paid the price mm -hmm. for my for my decisions and Will you you're coming alive now I think. Well, you you didn't quit. Like you still finished and honestly if you look at the result sheet like it looks like we finished close together but there were some crazy gaps in this like little in between section but if you saw in that previous clip you can see how far back like I was from the lead group and I just do a crazy bridge effort and I eventually get onto Sebastian's wheel here. This is just I just cut a few moments later. Mm -hmm. And um like, if you were looking at that downhill, you'd be like, wow, there's no way you're going to get to that lead group. But uh, we don't quit. <laughs> no, we, we race to the line over here. Yeah. <laughs> and and just to be clear, like, mm -hmm. I, I didn't, like, get to the side of the road and get yeah. off the bike. Like, you, you pay your money to race. you got to mm -hmm. race the whole race. Yeah. But, um, so, like, we are getting in these fragments, and I don't even know who is in who. <laughs> I guess we were lapping some people. Like There the were 35. a lot of lapped riders. I don't yeah. know who we were lapping, who we weren't, but... um. You're going to see, like, we, you know, thanks to Sebastian, we're going to, like, kind of get to the back of this lead group. And this is with three to three laps to go at this point. So, like, I was just kept on telling myself, I was like, man, you know, you never know how at the end of these races, sometimes the pace just completely dies. Mm -hmm. And I was like, if we just keep on having a chance, like, we could probably get up there. And, uh, you know, I feel like as long as I have a chance, I'm not going to give up. So I kept on motoring, but you can see, like, because of how much we were like the crazy effort we were doing on the other half of the course we have nothing for the hill i was already struggling up the hill with fresh legs um and th there's yeah. another thing that you were saying like you're talking about like legs or mentality mm -hmm. and we didn't have it today but if you look at like the effort that you did in the last mm -hmm. half of this race to put this down i think that it's more that it took a little bit of time to like mm -hmm. switch on for you yeah and and for me like like, I was on, I wanted to risk it, but mm -hmm. I made the wrong decisions, and I was not dressed appropriately <laughs> for the conditions. But, uh, but, but, but the, the thing to say about what you did is you didn't give up, and you dug deep. Mm -hmm. And the only thing that you gotta do, man, is just, like, switch into that dog mindset earlier. <laughs> and, and, you know, we, we'd we be making money here in Cat 3. There's some money in Cat oh, yeah, 3. Yeah, no, we'll get up there. We'll get up there. I, I left this race, like, more confident. And, and the race is not over. Again, like, look how far we are. I came and hold Sebastian's wheel. We're going to get That's back. That's crazy. We're going to get back. Get up to him. We're going to get back to the lead group uh, going into this hill. And that's just, like, how this worked for the last couple laps. Um, so just, I don't know, I guess my only motivation is, like, when you find yourself in a situation like this, like, you're dropped, like... Like, this is, you just gotta dig at this point. Even though, like, you know you're not gonna win, just dig and don't give up. Because it's like, you know, 
The last time I saw yeah. something like this was at Santa Maria. Yeah, this is so Santa you, Maria. You just, you just yeah. push. And yeah, that no was reason. the best lesson that for you no could reason. learn. Yeah. So, yeah, I was honestly like, like this was a tough race, and it wasn't like we got dead last. Um, I'm showing these, and it looks like we're like dead last. But again, like there was 60 people, and I think we all finished like top 20 ish. Yeah. Um, about mid pack and like half three. Um, but yeah, you can see we kind of, you know, we still have the lead group in sight, but like, oh my gosh, this hill is so slow. And. Um, yeah, I mean, this I, I is think, this is painful to watch. <laughs> let's talk about next year because yeah. I I think like we're we're at that point now to where mm -hmm. like you're kind of thinking like oh like you know what what would I do differently? Like oh, what would be one thing that you would do differently for next if, year? If if you're lining up to this, you gotta be ready to risk it. Like like if you're hitting the brakes early on, like unless you have insane fitness, like you have no shot. I contend this is a race where you got to be willing to risk it and I wasn't willing to risk it and yeah like you cut to the last lap here and you can see like the lead group's gone at this point um Sebastian's up there too but um yeah I mean you gotta you gotta risk it 100% dude this is not a uh, this is not a like a crit that you can like half heart you know? yeah yeah definitely yeah. you've got to commit 100% to yeah. one course of action mm -hmm. and that's why next race if I hit brakes at all my number one my mm -hmm. number one objective is going to be I need to change whatever yeah. whatever needs to be done to be more efficient. Mm -hmm. uh, my plan next year is to commit 100% to mm -hmm. the hill yeah. and commit 100% to being as efficient and recovery driven mm -hmm. as possible mm -hmm. on this back section of it too. Yeah. But honestly, like, I love this course and uh, this is like real racing, like it felt like to me. And, and just to show you, like, it looks like I sucked. I still like normalized like three three twenty, which is like four point three watts per kilo for forty five minutes. I've never done that in a crit. <laughs> like that's that's big boy numbers for me. So um, like there's nothing in SoCal that will replicate that. So it's like I was really happy with like the fact that I have even fitness to do that. So I will say this. Everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. <laughs> I went from thinking, how am I going to win this race? <laughs> to, oh my god, what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs>